We're here fishing today on the on the Scaries banks. Um, well, it's just off of Dartmouth, in between Dartmouth and Start Point to our to our south. And over on the far distance, we've got um, Bee Sands. We've also got stunning fishing with the place fishing. We have umpteen sightings of wildlife. We recently this year we had a humpback whale. Um, we've had minke whales. We've had thresher sharks. We've seen sunfish, dolphins, harbour porpoises, basking sharks. And occasionally we do catch a fish. But just to go through a couple of tackle tips on the on the place fishing. Typical rig is a hook length, small hook, using anything between a 1-0 and a and a two-size hook. This is attached to a piece of mono, usually about 20 pounds in strength. And you can put different types of beads on it, attractors. These are just simple kids beads, anything really, just to make an attractor. But uh, preferred color out of most is the black and the green. These are meant to be uh, representing the pea mussel. So that's what the place are feeding on. You can also uh, add a bit of bling to your bit of kit. You can use silver spoons, which in the tide they spin round and also act as an attractor. Rods we use for place fishing generally are light duty. Six to ten pound class, nice light rod. Nice bit of flex in them as well. This one's a, a Shimano, but this is a 20-30 class, but very flexible. The bait we use, we use a cocktail on our boat. We use a ragworm fed onto the hook from the head side, put it past the hood shank. We also then use a bit of prawn. Seems to be a little secret tip that we all seem to use. A little strip of squid, there's a flag, just simply hooked on either once or twice, and then that's our bait presentation. If you just get a detection of a bite, you just give it a couple of the Two or three quick pulls give it about four or five feet of line so that your bait is going to be stationary and the place comes along sits on it to, to uh, devour it then strike into it and bring it back in but generally um, on our particular trips we sort of try to keep anything above 14 inches and everything else below that goes back into the water uh, just purely conserving the conserving the stocks Fish stocks, yeah, it's a shame really. I think we aren't catching as many fish as we used to, although the scaries do seem to be uh, coming back to life with the uh, catch and release that we try and do on this boat. Um, I quite like it actually. Uh, you know, I, I only catch and take home enough to eat. Uh, any more than that goes back in just for future generations. <laughs> That's Herbert. Mate, I love you. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a 
pleasure to come down on a nice sunny day and nothing better than to sit down have a nice pleasurable trip catching fish talking with good friends um, yeah I think uh, anybody that wants to come and do uh, a relaxing day's fishing should come place fishing and the scenery is just absolutely fantastic when we steam down the brick from Brixham to get here it's about an hour on this boat um, but the beautiful scenery of the coastline and everything else and there's some nice ships out here as well some nice boats at times but it's really chilled out relaxing very friendly plenty of tea couldn't ask for any more really